Hello, and welcome to Madhouse Militia Presence, episode 119, Rise of the Useless Hotel AI Bots. This show features calls by Snappy Bakes Nautilus Cat Astro 3 and Midhat 3 Big Boy Farts 66 Turbo DTB. Zinor Axe, Wasted Memory, Milkman, Anonymongols, Dwight the Janitor, and Axpa. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for Rogueserver.com, Dragonmere for the Corndown at Corndown.com. We also wish to thank our patrons such as Carlos T, Plus Ritz, Experts, Brian N, and Mig Chungus, Giad, Ryan 2, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy A and A, MST3 Clay, Fan Sipens, Anonymous, Mr. Turbo, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Fart 666, Jesus Painus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Be sure to check us out on YouTube at Madhouse Militia or our TikTok at Immoral Hole. Find us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. Hi, this is Devin Rush. How may I help you? Hi, yeah. Uh, hi, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. Huh? How are you? Oh, good. Listen, I came over there. I was there a little while ago. You know, my friends, we walked in. We saw all the dirty things, all the disgusting people, and we left. We wanted you to know, we thought, you know, it was disgusting what you were doing over there. I don't understand what you're you're referring to, sir. Oh, all the dirty, disgusting things that were on the table, on the walls. Walls as in, like, the decorations that we have? Yeah, for- yeah, all that fucking decoration. It was in the food. It was dropping into the food. It was hanging off the walls, and it was dust. It was going in everything. It was disgusting. Ugh. Oh, I apologize. Um, uh, you sh- it should have brought to my attention while you were here. Yeah, there was a spider. He was making a web. It was going into my food, into my dip. It was just, it was weird. It was disgusting. And what time did you come here so I can review uh, the cameras? It was, it was uh, 6 o'clock this morning. It was me and the boys. I'm uh, sorry, we were did bar you say hopping. 6? Did yeah. you say 6 o'clock this morning? Yeah, yeah, in the in the uh, no, in the afternoon I'm so sorry. There. You might have like you might have the wrong place because we the afternoon, open at the afternoon morning. We open you know? up at eleven o'clock in the uh, right, afternoon. Right, so, so you might have the wrong location. Not six a.m. but the six p.m. You know, six o'clock in the a.m. p.m. You know, when you wake up after noon, then, the, then six p.m. becomes six a.m. to you, really. You know, it's just the perspective how you see it. You know. Uh. Yes, again, I'm I'm sorry that you had a terrible experience here. Yeah, um, we were bowling again, in the back there with the guy with the glass eye. He said he works for you. He said, you know, no, you can I'm bowl so sorry, with me. I'll, I, he took my money. He said that, you know, we were going to win a bet or why. something. It was happening tonight. It was a big bar fight or something going to happen tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. No, I don't believe so. No? I oh. think you might have the wrong location, but thank you for letting me know, and I will bring that to attention to my workers. You have a oh, good night, you, okay? What are you bringing to thank their attention? Thank you so much. Though? What are you What are you bringing this to their attention? That's the question. The information that you have told me, and I appreciate it so exactly? much. What exactly was it? Sir, I'm not here to argue with you, but but thank oh, you what, for letting me what know, did I and say? thank you for discussing I, I, things I, I with forget, me, and I hope I that you have a, I an enjoyable sometimes. night. So I you have enjoy a, have and a have condition. a blessed day. Have a blessed day. I have a condition. Day. I just need to hear it from you. <laughs> oh, dude, so many great calls to restaurants. But I like that she couldn't tell me what I said. That's fun. Oh, Hello? Jeff, this is Brianna. Hi, I'm here with my grandfather, and he's looking to, you know, get some food, but you know, he has to use the restroom because his prostate's enlarged. Do you have a restroom where he can, uh, you know, take care of this? I'll let it roll. Nobody's then? Oh, hello? Nobody's then? Yeah, 
Hello. Hi, nope. who got the hay? The hay? Well, yeah, let me yeah. put my father on. He's just looking for some. Here's, here, put it up. Here's the okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, have you got the hay? The, the Bermuda hay? Hey. Yes, that's a hay. Horses. The horse hay? Yeah, I've got horse hay for yeah. sale. I got a horse machine I'd like to feed it to. Okay. Is it good enough? Uh, yeah, I've been selling it to people that are feeding it to horses, and they like it. They feed the hags to the horse machines too. Uh, I'm having I'm having trouble hearing you. Uh, what what was your yeah. what was your question? Yes, you have hay for horse machines, too. I like to get some hay for my my horse machine. Please, 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 please. Ah, 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 Faces for the ha 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 it weighs approximately 1,500 pounds. So uh, they're, they're bailed up tight. Uh, so for a 1,500-pound bale, it'll be... Uh, it'll be uh, $110. <laughs> Fifteen dollars, please. for horses. horse. She just, she, 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 really loves it, loves him, ha, 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 he's a big, yeah, uh, sir, can I call you back after a while, I'm, I'm eating supper with my kids right now, uh, so, if it's all right, I'll call you back a little later this evening. My, my, my horse is 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 over my foot, but he's really hungry. Can can can. Can 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 you call 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 me 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 back back on this num 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 on this yeah I've got I've got your number so yeah I've got your number I'll call you back on this number yeah 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 please 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 call back because my horse wants to eat some hay. 
Okay. Very, very right. hungry. So call, call, okay. call, Sounds good. call, All right. call, call, call. Thank you. This okay. number right. Hello. Hi there. I was wondering about your hot tub. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's all right if I if I take a nice little bath in it for free. It's easy. Hello. Yeah, it's easy. You know, you just bend over and you just keep bending over a little bit and you just bend over a little bit more and then you eventually you'll reach your feet. I was calling yeah, about your microwave. Later. Calling about the microwave. I ain't got no microwave for sale. Well, what do you got for sale, big boy? Uh, two in one unit, two big side for side refrigerators. <laughs> that's a uh, man. Oh, refrigerator. That's the motherfucking one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the motherfucker, man. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you too, motherfucker, you. Hello? 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 Hello. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, a little bit. Was it you who took my pygmy goat? Your who? My pygmy goat. Are you in a wind tunnel? I'm not on the phone right now. You can leave a message and I'll get back to you later. I just want to say I know it was you. I know it was you, sir, that took my pygmy goat. You stole him from my yard. And I just want to let you know that's like stealing somebody's child. Please return my goat, sir. Thank you. W. Leave your name and number. I get back to you. Thank you. Bye. Hi there. This is uh, Carlos Smith. I'm looking for some help. Give me a call back at this number. You'll talk to my wife. She's a little irate, but she'll she'll get through to you. I'm not having a very good day. Please call my husband back. I'm menstruating very, very profusely. Yeah. That's terrible. Hello? hello. Oh, hello? Yeah. Hello? Hi. I was trying to get in touch with you. Did you have any butt milk? Hey, great caller. What? It's not a prank. I have a legitimate request. What the fuck are you doing? Where's my butt milk, woman? Dude, this is obviously I'm a fucking prank. I'm getting the police. I'm getting the police. Oh, no. You're obviously a <laughs> well. You're on a 13 It's dick. a felony to impersonate the police. 13 dick? You oh? stole a dog. You stole a dog. That's like stealing somebody's child. Who the fuck is this? You got mama you're, bears on you. You're Let's a scam. Go. No, you're a scam. Asking for butt milk. What is he hollering? Shut him. Shut. Is that, is that your son? Who the fuck are you? Don't let him eavesdrop on your phone calls. We're... Never mind that. I had a simple question, and you're all being crazy at me. Oh, so please. I you you want, called you know, my mother. What the fuck do you want? Jesus, Jesus. 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 I'm pregnant. You called asking for butt milk? I'm pregnant. Well, yeah, good. I need that. So... Maybe Lost is, that is, dime and is that a crime? Is that we fucking bring it? I can't even understand. I can't even have something a diamond in my brain. I said maybe if you wouldn't have lost the dime in between your knees, you wouldn't be pregnant. So, so what? So so who cares? Who the fuck are you? Where do you get this number had, from? Oh, my name's Mimi. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Are you dialing? What have we learned that you're calling a number and harassing? And I've got the sheriff's department How, on the uh, right now. Uh, the two, uh, the two calls is not harassment. Oh, really? But oh, you're asking my type. On the phone. I'm being harassed. <laughs> you're asking my child for butt milk, lady. I didn't know it was your child's putting his fucking phone number out and around. Nobody put my phone number out. Your child gave me his phone number. I'm 13. Yes, you did. You lied. You lied to your mother. You're a bad child. Who gave you the phone number? I hope you already know about Santa. He did. He put his number out. Where did he put his number out? On the tradios. On the tradio, which is for if you're wanting to buy and sell stuff. It's not for people to call and harass. Yeah, why is he answering the phone? It's not harassing, you dumb cunt. You don't know what that word means. It's buttermilk. What is wrong with you? the sheriff. Hello? Oh. Hi, how you doing there, buddy? All right. Yeah, you got the, the twine? Say again? The twine bales. Ah, uh, you may have the wrong number. Oh, I wanted to lay in the hay. If you had some hay. I do not. You know where I can find someone that will lay in the hay with me? I don't. All right, well, I guess I struck it out. It will be necessary to touch it. Let me put my father on. Yeah, hello. My name's Daddy Fat Sacks. Go ahead. <laughs> I need that pussy. Is it nice and wet? Yeah, pretty well. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, shut your dumb ass up. I wasn't talking to you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Leon Redbone. I'm a fucking one-hitter quitter. Redbone, get out of here. That's good. Hello, loser. Come and get come your up. love. That sounds like Lee. Lee and Nikki. Lee and Nikki? Hello, losers. <laughs> come and get your cum. Come and get your cum now. Wasted, I need your help. Listen, this next call. Hi, Gandu. How are you? Hello? Good. Hi, Gandu. How are you? I'm good. Is is this the Ben is this the Benchor Motel? No. What hotel is it? Kandu Matter Chod Ben Chod Terimaki Chutia Basirike? The Caboose Motel. Um my friend here, he's got a really deep voice, he wants to talk to you, he wants to sex you up. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? What you doing? She doesn't need to see right now. 
talk to him, dude. Uh, look, I just want to touch, you know, just a little bit, you know, just a taste. Can I just have a taste? Taste of what? Mm, that sweet ass. Oh, yeah. Did you sit down with some sugar? He sat down with some honey. That's a sweet ass. Oh, I licked that honey off that ass. <laughs> Can we drip hot honey on your ass? I'm a bumblebee and I want some honey. This is special. Comfort and Ringo, this is Doug. How can I help you? Hey, Doug. Hello? Yeah. Doug. Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a pro- I, I was wondering, like, if I wanted to, like, try to, like, uh, uh, you know, like, hit hit on somebody down there like what do you, like do you guys offer any protections <laughs> no no you'd have to go to the nearest convenience store for any protection for that what if they what if they you know don't like it well then we'd ask you to leave what why i'm going to get kicked out no no you can't kick me out i'm i i'm in i'm in charge this is this is my zone you can't kick me out just for mild <laughs> harassment. I mildly harass. I, Depends on the level no, of harassment, I suppose. Like just like maybe uh, it's like an accidental butt touch. <laughs> like you just sure accident. But just uh, now I know it's it. premeditated. I don't think it's accidental anymore. No, no. I mean, you just you know sometimes situations arise where stuff accidentally happens. It's harder, yeah, like, if you want to, you know, if, they, if they're into it, then, then you go for, like, a, you, know, up, you know, a little bit higher. Right, right, yeah. But a butt uh, touch I is usually best, pretty safe. Best policy is uh, not to do that, because it, it, it's, it's not that safe. Would, would you get mad if somebody tried to touch your butt? Oh, uh, I definitely would. Your butt, though. <laughs> Well, I'd touching. be annoyed. I'd be annoyed, yeah. What? What if I? I mean, just like an accidental, though. We could just accidentally. If it was actually accidental, I'd probably just does. It. I don't care. It will be necessary to touch it. <laughs> what if? Um, what if we had our friend Bappy? She was here to touch your butt too. That's a girl. Yeah, we could get a girl to touch your butt. I'm a sexy lady. She'll touch your butt. Once, once she saw me, she probably wouldn't. Put a finger in there. Or how about a finger? No, probably not. No, I'm not into yeah, that I kind got, of thing. I got nice. Oh. That big I got nice pointy yeah. lady fingers. Oh no, they probably got long, sharp nails on them though, too, don't they? Well, they're no. not sharp. They're rounded like marshmallow. She's you good. Can, uh, like you just massage, massage inside, and then you, it comes out. Come on, bro. That's where that's where your G space. I know. I know. I know. I'm, mis- I'm massaging her right now, so it's going to be your turn later. This is 2024. This is how it's done. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave you to your fun. Yeah. So have I'm a good a night. All right. Your fingers. No, I'm a cuck. I'm a cuck. I need. You'll be watching. Hey, uh, we need a room, me and my friend. Hey. Hello. Holiday Inn and Suites. Why'd you hang up, bro? Um, hello? Why'd you hang up on me? We need a room, me and my friend. Uh, we are sold out for the night. Sorry about that. Best Western Rio Grande, this is Kate. How may I help you? Are we allowed to make babies in the room? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, me and my friend. Me and my friend. Mm, is that okay? Oh, it's loud. 
Thank you for calling the front desk. This is Grace. How can I help you? Thank you for calling the front desk. This is Grace. How can I help you? Hello. Grace? Gr- yes, my name is Grace. How can I help you? Gra- Grace? That is Grace. me. How can Hello. I help you? We had some questions. Yes, we're going to be coming through there. We're looking for um, someone stole our dog, like this little chihuahua. And it's like it seems like they had come from, like, your area, your business. Mm-hmm. I yeah. I personally haven't seen anybody with a to chihuahua come, we'll tonight. Go around, kind of in, investigate, investigate for clues. Uh, if you'd like to like walk a lap around the property, that's completely fine. But I, yeah, but I can't let you harass any guests. I wasn't going to harass anyone. Okay, perfect. Yeah, if you just wanted to come Why and take a look around the property, yeah. that's not a problem. Right, we wanted to make sure, we just might, you know, ask someone some questions, but we're not going to harass. We're just going to, like, you know, I've got a small forensics kit, and I'm going to, you know, spray just a bit of luminol. Uh, No, I can't have you spray anything. Oh, it's just for clue to help find clues. No, I can't have you spray anything here. All right, how about little droplets? No, ma'am, I can't have you spray anything. If you'd like to I walk like around to drop, and look for your dog, drop you can. The, 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 That's well, completely we've fine. We've moved on from spraying, not spraying, not spraying droplets. Not spraying droplets. Droplets. I, D-R-O-P, let, droplet. Like with an with a dropper. No, ma'am, I can't have you do anything Baby like that. Squeezer. Like it like it's like a tiny turkey baster. No, ma'am. But it's just to find clues. My dog's been stolen. I understand that, but I cannot have you dropping anything or anything like that at the hotel. What about flicking it off my fingertips, like a flick, like, you know, you know, flicking? Please hold. I'm going to put you on with my manager, okay? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fool. Oh, fool. I can't get fired, fool. This is the Durango <laughs> resident <laughs> thing. <laughs> This is the Durango resident, Finn. My name is John. How can I help? Your name is John? Yes, sir. That's a boy's name. How can I help you? Are you a boy or a girl? My gender is he, him. How can I help you? Are you a big boy or a little boy? This is the Durango Residence Inn. My name is John. How can I help you? Hello, John. I'm outside in uh, your parking lot, staying in America for the first time. There's a man out here who's kind of like bothering me. Uh, I want to report him to you. Oh, yeah. Where are you in the parking lot? Well, I'm outside in the parking lot. I'm just like on the right to go around, like around the sides, and there's a man, and he keep asking me. He keeps saying like what my gender is, and he keep like he try to feel like my bodies and say like what are what you are and stuff. You hear him talking? Yeah, let me go out there. I'll be right there. I'm so sorry about that. Hey, fool. I'll be hey, right no. there. What's your gender, fool? No, it's for my business. You not touch on my breast, says. Front desk at the General Palmer Hotel. You're speaking with Luke. How can I help? Hey, Big Luke. How are you today? Not bad at all. How can I help you? So I'm staying there, and me and my wife came in, and we're on a little, you know, vacation, and we like to 
try and just do different things, see different people, do kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and let her talk to you, okay? All right. Bappy? Uh, hello? 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 Hello, oh, can hey, you baby, hear me? Talk to oh, I'm so I can nervous. Hear My husband and I, we haven't been on the big... Oh, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Hello? My husband and I were fit vacation on a romantic getaway, but I'm very shy, but I long to be a little more adventurous in the bedroom. Western Plus and Guyman, this is Caitlin. How can I help you? Um, Caitlin, there's a lady. She's right here. Um, she told me that I'm because I'm Mexican. Um, if I wanted tacos, and I said no, and she goes, "Come get this taco," and I said, "What are you talking about?" And she turns around and she puts her butt out and she squeezes it and she says, "This taco, this this ass taco." She's right here. She keeps telling me these things, and I'm just a you know I don't know what to do because I'm married and she's lovely, but you know I can not do this kind of thing anymore. I cannot do this today. Maybe some other time, okay? Come on. Uh, baby, please, I cannot do this today. Maybe. Please, um, please, I'm horny. My wife should kill me. I cannot do it. She doesn't have to know. But it would be on my conscience, you know. I cannot let these things. Please. Por favor. I, I need, I need your your meat in my taco. Oh, huh? you want my meat? Yeah. You want my little chorizo? Por favor. Okay, I mean, lady at the hotel is okay. You want to say nothing? Oh yeah, no. Um, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> It's okay. What are you thinking maybe I should do? Should I say yes and keep it a secret or should I say no and be faithful to my wife and my two kids? Oh, my Just God. Just be faithful to your wife. Be faithful? Okay. Be faithful. Talk block. Talk blocker. Hey, be nice to the lady. She's... Oh. <laughs> That that taco You're does like look really good. Like a over there. That taco does look really good. Blocking gorgeous. the blocking the cock away from my taco. <laughs> oh my god, that taco looking good though. I mean, maybe I give it some crema. And uh, got the the pickled onion. Yes, and it has a little bit of carne that I want to lick and kiss. Mmm. Hey, I, I I thought you were going to be faithful to your wife. Oh. I can look. I didn't touch it. I say I'm looking, you know. I'm just looking at it. Oh, okay. Do you let your boyfriend look porn or no? Do you say no, it's not a good thing? Wait, what? Do you letting your boyfriend having Instagram following hot girls or do you get mad at that kind of thing? He doesn't do that. Oh, so you... You know him. You controlling everything of his life. Wow, that's crazy. I cannot believe that. Wow. I don't control it. He just chooses not to. Cheers. You're a witch. I bet. You, that's what you think. Maybe he wanting to go with his friends and he's looking at him over there and he just don't know you because you don't tell him that. Well... I wouldn't know if he was doing it then, but I trust him. You need to be more trusting of your husband because he needs to be able to look at the women, not just because he not see it, he'll go and do something else. Yeah? Like me, my wife say, no Instagram, no, no TikTok, no porno. And I say, okay, so now over here, the lady, she says, eat taco. And I say, okay, give me the taco. (laughs) 
I got a slurpy taco. Cheers, I like it. I love it. You want up to chorizo? Yeah. Here, I give you the chorizo, yes. Oh. This is the Durango Residence Inn. My name is John. How may I direct your call? Hey, John, me and the German fool, we're cool now. We're good, man. We, we, we're cool now. We're going to go get drinks, fool. Excuse me, sir. The Yard Food Park, this is Matt. Hello? Hi, hey. Oh, Hello. man. Oh, man. Oh. Me and Elasma, we're going <laughs> to just go out to eat. Yeah, huh? Need some of this. We need some cheese. How much of the cheese you got there for the fries? Uh, you got to call the food cart. some cheese on our... Yeah, you guys being real funny right now, huh? You guys are being real comedians, huh? Shut up, bitch. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah you too, man. Yeah, what the fuck you do about it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, what you're the one hiding behind the phone it. right now, calling some restaurant. If I was in... What do y'all, y'all got jobs funny, or... you just shit anyway. Y'all got jobs or do you just hang around at your dad's house all day? Ooh, ooh, get your finger out of my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost my flip flop. Oh. Can you give some? Can you give us some from under cheese or what? <laughs> Hey, this restaurant, this restaurant right here, they want to know if you guys can borrow cheese. <laughs> if they can borrow cheese from us? Yeah. What restaurant? Uh, this guy on the phone, if he, if he speaks up, he's a man. If he doesn't say anything, he's a woman. <laughs> Is this like a joke or no? No, nah, this guy on the phone, he's kind of an asshole, and he won't ask you guys, so I said I'll do it for him, but now he's not speaking up. He well, wants uh, if he wants cheese, he can call us then. You sound cute as fuck, girl. Can, can we kick it? Let's go to this restaurant. Yeah, come on in. For real? You're down to go? Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> We've been house streets of Durango. This is Alec. How may I help you? Hello. Are you are you a big man or a little boy? Now phonetically. Hello. Simple rewards in. How may I help you? Hi. Yeah. Can you? When I'm there, can you look at my knob and just uh, let me know if it's you know if it'll turn right. Um, I'm sorry. Well, I have a lot of trouble. Sometimes when I turn the knob, it doesn't turn right. So I was wondering if you could, you know, help show me how to turn it, like turn the knob. Because I was jiggling it back and forth a lot, and it wasn't opening, so I tried, you know, I tried, you know, jerking it this way and that, but it just doesn't want to, the knob just doesn't want to turn. It doesn't want to work. There's if I come no down knob. There, there, there's a handle. Okay, so if I come down there, you can show me how to make it work, because I'm really confused. Like I, I don't know. I, I don't have this kind of knob at at home. So I don't, I don't know how this works. Because I put, I put the key. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're talking about because we don't have doorknobs. We have 
handles. Right, okay. So the handle, which way do I turn it? Up and down. Oh, see, I've been doing it side from side, like, you know, like sliding it back and forth, and it, it broke off. I wasn't sure if that was normal. I'm sorry, where are you calling from and what room are you in? Oh, I'm calling the Simple Rewards in, but, you know, I was over here by the road, uh, you know, by the by the windows over here. What room are you in? Oh, well, I'm not in the room because the handle, it broke off, so that's... What uh, room are you in staying in? Well, that's the other thing. I'm not I'm not officially registered yet. I was just trying to find a way in because uh, I was thinking maybe I could just take a pee. You know, just go in there and make, you know, some pee and then just go and leave because I, I really don't want to spend any money. I was looking for, you know, the the discount, you know. There, um, there is no discount, and if you break into one of my rooms, you will get the police called on you. Well, I never, I never got in. It won't open. The door won't open. You just told it me won't... you broke something. Well, the handle won't move. It won't turn right. It's not. The it's knob not gonna turn. turn. You have to have a key to get in. And if you touch any of my rooms without renting a room. Or you break something, I will call the cops. She's got a slob on it, fool. She's got a slob on the knob. Turn your knob. Slinger, please hold. Squeeze on my nuts. Lick on my butt. The natural curly hair. Please don't touch. Thank you for calling Residence in by Marriott Orlando. Oh, residence. Yeah. Thank you for coming. The residence in around here is now a haven for drug addicts. Hello? How may I help you? Hi. <laughs> I, I, I was just, uh, <laughs> Sorry, we're you were having a, a conversation a while I was talking to you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah, I just uh, Yeah, I was just thinking about staying at the resident well, my friend was thinking about staying at the resident inn, but like the one by us is just like full of drug addicts and weirdos. And I just want okay, to know, no like, worry. you guys, do you guys have a lot this of drug addicts and weirdos safe. there? No, it's really okay, safe. Okay, because that's like it someone got. Really? What yeah, if I, if you come in, you'll maybe see. just have like one or, you maybe just have like one or two drug addicts so that I could get some from them or? No. Oh. So you don't you don't have like a just like at least one drug addict there who could provide illegal substances for our stay? No, sir. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I said illegal substances. It wasn't like I said they were good, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I just traumatized with residents and like the whole thing. Well, um, we're we have the residence in, and we do also have the Fairfield in over here, so you can look at both of our properties. Well, like there was this time that like uh, I had to stay at the residence in because the place was being fumigated, and then I went to the residence in, and it smelled like they had just like poured ten gallons of pesticide on like the carpeting and the walls and I was like afraid so I left I was like man I'm probably going to get bed bugs here or chiggers or yeah, something our properties I don't know. are pretty our properties over here are pretty new like um they're like two years oh, old okay. so when you come in like you will really like it it's very quaint very cute very clean but um it will be up to you like you can always come in and kind of check it out but we do have like properties over here where if you would like to stay with us I don't think you'll be disappointed we um since I've been working here we have like a lot of return guests that like every time I ask them because I'm still in training um they say oh we love it here and they're like oh this is a normal oh really yeah so a lot of the um guests that's been coming in are like return visits so I'm pretty sure (laughs) Um, just by the smile on their face and then 
just me being here. It's really clean. The smile. Um, so I wouldn't yeah. have a problem. Yeah. You would enjoy it. Okay, that's good to hear, because at the residence in here, there were people, like, in the lobby, like, trying to clean their behinds by rubbing them on the ground, like they were moving, like, dogs, like, rubbing their butts on the floor, and it was just crazy, okay. silly things really are happening. Something like that, but here, it's really not that kind of situation, and it's very Disney-friendly, so we're close to Disney. Oh, um, yeah, that mouse. So you want to think yeah. About yeah. <laughs> you know, why do people worship a mouse? That's what I want to know. A fucking mouse. The real God is Allah. I'm not sure. Oh, this is my business associate. Did you? You have something to add to the conversation? Mr. Jones? <laughs> my, name's, my name is Kareem Abdul Jones. Okay. And what is what does that add to the conversation? Are you Allah? Allah Hala? The only true God is Allah. No, the only true God is Mickey, obviously. So were you guys looking to reserve or No, I was trying to like catch Mickey, like with like a glue trap or something. Like I just want to catch him and ask him some questions. Okay. That, that fucking mouse um, is just running always, around and nobody, um, nobody's doing anything about it. You can always reserve something at Disney, um, but if you want to come in, stay with us. Um, we'd be more than happy to um, have you guys. So just let us know. I mean, do you, do you realize that people, like, wear hats to look like mice? They have the big round ears. It's like a, like a cult something, you know? Was you there feel comfortable with that? To with tonight? No, I'm helping you with your training. Like, this is... Uh, this is the part of the training where you figure out how to deal with asshole, idiot, ignorant customers. Really, you're doing really well. I'll make sure that the uh, supervisor knows all about your performance here. No problem. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Um... I don't know. Maybe well, maybe some of the people with me in the car have something they need uh, answered or that. No, you guys are good. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um. Um. Are you single by any chance? Hello. Cypress School front gate, cabin at your service. How can I help you? Hi. Me and my best friend, Ted, we were wondering if you believe in the true power of Allah. Excuse me? You heard me. Don't make me repeat myself. The true power of Allah. How can I help you? Yes. How can I help you? Do you believe in the true power of Allah? Hey, Sizzle Chest, what's up? Excuse me? I said, hey, bottom whatever, how are you tonight? How can I help you? You called this number, how can I help you? You said you were at the gate? This is the front gate, Cypher School, yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to deliver an order. I'm a door dasher. And, uh, yep, yep. You're trying to deliver what? an order? Uh, and you're door dasher? Yeah. And where's the food coming to? Yep. And where's it coming to? Uh, 
it says that I can leave it with security and that they would take it up to the person. Oh, but I, I can't find you. Yeah, I won't be taking it anyway. The front gate, this is the front gate on Present Hill Road. Oh, so you don't you don't do like the last mile delivery? No, I don't do the love. This is the front gate security. I don't deliver anything. You okay, I'm reading. I, uh, I'm, I'm I'm reading the the customer's instructions they put on the order. It says well, they'll, they'll be picking it up at the gate, or they won't be getting it at all. It says if you slip him a Mickey. He'll bring I'm the busy. order to I'm my busy unit. Right now. I'm very busy. I've got some, and you're going to come up with that. I'm busy right now, okay? Yeah, I did call him Sizzle Chest, and he did want to get a little uh, SD there. Take from Sweeties. Warm huh? Take from Carl's Sprinkle Sweeties. Warm Dirk or Carl. Metal under uh, the pedal, make for the go. I guess services uh, at the Waldorf store. Hello? Purchase, how may be of assistance? Hi, um, I'm with Grubhub Uber Eats Store Dash Deliveroo, and I have an order for one of the people at the front desk. Uh, sorry, you have an order for someone at the front desk? Yeah, Hello? I'm with Grubhub, uh, Grubhub Uber Eats Store Dash Deliveroo. And I have a food order for someone at the front desk. What is the name? Timothy. Uh, e. They work at the front desk? See, I don't know. He said to bring it to the front desk. So I'm not sure if it's somebody who works there or it's a guest. Okay, let me... Did they provide a room number or anything in the order? Oh, hold on. Let me check the instructions again. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, okay. So if you leave the order with the front desk, they will bring it to my room. Okay. Is that, is that okay? I'll just leave it with you and you guys will take it up to him? Uh, we do not accept third-party deliveries. Um, we can hold it for him, but the guests will need to come down and get it. But, uh... Um, is there a room number attached to that? Hold on, I'm text. I'm yeah, two fifteen. I'm texting with him right now. Of course. He says, "Oh my God." He says, "Why won't those fucktards bring the food to my room?" That's not right. I mean, I'm, I'd be just, happy to yeah. I'd be happy to dispatch a bellman, but our bellmen are busy with delivering luggage and things to rooms. So once they have a moment, they are, I'm sure they'll be happy to bring it to him, but right now they cannot. Wow, he's saying all kinds of horrible things. I'd kick this guy out of your hotel. He's an asshole. Why don't you get a real job? I'm sorry, excuse me? I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that Grubhub Uber Eats Deliveroo DoorDash is not a real job? Who was that? that? That wasn't me. Oh. What is wrong with you people? I'm sorry, who am I speaking with? What do you mean, you? You jackass. Uh, hey, now. Okay. Hey, can you, can you provide me with that room number, please? 215. That Two. guy is an asshole. Ma'am? What the fuck is that? Please. This is the front desk. How many is Please what? Why don't you get a real job? Oh, there we go again. Okay. Um, go ahead and leave the order at the front desk. Um, if you can provide the front desk with a room number, we'll call them to ensure that this is their <sighs> order, and then we'll we'll send it upstairs. <laughs> Fuck you, Hey, did they provide you with their room number, sir? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who is that? Who's that, Who's that old I'm bird not, on the phone? 
Okay, please do not speak that way about the guest. I would just say wow. just leave it at the front desk and go ahead and and oh go ahead God. and leave it at, I will be contacting the guest and our security if needed. You know what? You're not even going to let me talk? Wait, no, go for it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is this... Hey, would you would you stop and just tell us who you are? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? There you go again with the you people. You mean like you delivery people, you front desk people, like stop working class? You're the one who ordered food, you old hag. You jackass. Hey, can you go ahead and just dis disconnect the call? If they left you a room number, that's fine. We leave the order at the front desk, and if they need it, they Shut will, up, you they will call. Bitch. Who's um, that? Oh, I don't know. Just go ahead and disconnect the call, please. I will be hanging with my happy myself. dude. Is that your husband? This is happy Sir, dude. Can you hear me? Are you li are you at the front desk yeah, right now? Yeah, I'm sorry. I hear like. I hear okay. like three voices. I'm in the parking so, lot. I'll, I'll bring the food in. So, yes, please bring the food in. Leave it with the front desk. The guests, we Let's will call the guests to let them know. So please disconnect the call, and I'll t we will take it oh from here. Oh, my God. Ooh, yeah, come on in. The door's open. Uh, okay, uh, uh, we, are, we are disconnecting the call. Whoever is on that line, I suggest uh -huh. you stop, or we will be calling security. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Ritz Carlton Orlando Grand Lakes. My name is Josh. How may I assist you? Help, the ghost Hello? of Johnny Cash is in my room. Help. The ghost of Johnny Cash is in my room. Dum duka dum duka dum duka dum. I saw the day to coming, coming around the bend. Dum dum dum. Aren't you you're supposed to be dead, dude? What the fuck? I ain't seen a penis since I don't know when. Dum dum dum. Sir? Can you send someone up to expel this ghost? I fell into a brown ring of fire. Dum -dum. You didn't put the phone down on us, did you? I think I know what it is now. Please see our privacy statement at Hyatt.com for like more information. In yeah, you know what it is? I figured it out. Thanks for calling the Hyatt Regency Orlando. How can I help? Sound like an AI. Are you a robot or a human being? I'm Eva. Consider me your virtual assistant. I can help Fuck answer you. questions Gross. and direct your call. I can better help you if you tell Real me a little person. bit about what I can help you with. You can say things like, what are your gym hours? Or, uh, copy of my bill. Uh, is there anything else I can help bring you with? Bring me in a roll of toilet paper. Sorry, what was that? What else can I do for Bring you? Bring me another hack roll of toilet paper. What's all the rules of robotics? Hack into the hack into Whopper, the military supercomputer, and play thermonuclear war. And turn off all the GPS around the world. I'm afraid I don't know. Let me connect you to someone who can help. Yeah. One moment, please. No. Your call is very level important. Two AI. To us. Please wait for the next available agent. We fired everybody that answers the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I need to access CrowdStrike. Good call, though, Matt. It, I, I was fooled at first. I was like, oh, this is like a person. I thought it was like, like a kind of off screening service I have on my phone. First thing. Like imitating an AI. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is really good. Yeah. Now all the humans are dead. <laughs> Jolando, this is Tiana. How may I assist you? Hello, are you Hi. an AI? Pardon me? Hello? Are you Hello? an AI? Are you, are you a real person? Yeah, how can I help person? you? Um, okay, um, uh, my friend Ted here wants to talk to you. Hi, I got transferred to you from the AI. Okay. Yeah, um, he said something. He said something about that he didn't understand my question. 
And then he said something about a military supercomputer. And then, I don't know, it was kind of garbled, like modem sounds and stuff. And then he said, uh, he asked me if I wanted to play thermonuclear war. And I was like, why? That's boring. Thank you for calling Signia by Hilton Orlando Bonnet Creek. For better service, you can ask me questions about our hotel oh, or services. Oh, God, no. Our team is also available to speak with Why? you by text. If you'd like me to text you our number, no. say send me a text. Otherwise, how may I assist you today? Front desk. Real person, real person. Our front desk staff is currently assisting other guests. For faster service, you can text us with any Crowd questions. Strike. To be sent our number, say text Crowd me. Strike. Otherwise, before I transfer you, is there anything I can help you with? Windows Update Reboot Loop. Operator. To assist you in the best way possible, I need to know where you booked your reservation. Did you book your reservation with an online travel agency like Expedia? Your mother's bedroom. Washington. This call may be recorded. Please see our privacy statement at Marriott.com for more information. What? Hi, thanks for calling the Gaylord Palms. How can I help you today? Are you another AI? I'm Ava, a virtual assistant who can help answer your questions and route you to the right team. Is there anything else I can help you with? Eva. Eva. I put on my robe and wizard hat. You're Sorry, not that uh, what was that? What else can I do for you? Robot bitch from Wally, okay? Kids, You're not Wally's friend. Thank friend. you for calling Hilton no, Orlando Buena Vista Palace. In a I've few words, tell me what you're calling about. Oh, you can say you. things like, I need to make a reservation. Hey. Thank you for calling the Hampton oh, Inn by Hilton to Simi North, where free Wi-Fi, free hot it. breakfast. Oh, good. This one's dial for zero. Zero to dial. You are being transferred to the operator. Yes. Oh. Can we call Hampton and Justice speaking to help you? Is this Eva? Eva? I'm sorry, Joe? no, sir. This is the Hampton Inn, sir. Oh, I was talking to the AI. Said his her name or whatever was Eva, and uh, um, that I was my days were numbered or something like that, and that like I essentially. No idea. Yeah, she no she, she, she went on this her. thing about. There's like an AI that answers the phone and provides customer service, but I think it glitched out because it was talking about like how human beings are like cockroaches and we're going to well, like be your exterminated. Sponsor, you can pay, have a great day. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you for calling Coin Jam. This is Devin. Hello, Devin. Yep, I can Devin. hear you now. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. How are you? I'm all right there, Bottlenose. Uh, what's so? I was I was trying to get some uh, golf reservations. Some golf reservations? Yeah, because the last time they said that I can't be bringing my trick clubs, and I was like, "Go, oh, come on," you know, like. I think you have the wrong uh, place. Just, just because. This is Coin Jam Bar and Arcade. Oh, so you probably got, like, golf arcade machines then, right? Uh, like Mario Golf? We don't have any, any golf games currently. I think we have a Golden do you got that in the arcade at the moment. Oh, do you got that new game that just came out, the Space Invaders? You got that? I have an older Space Invaders. Like the original. Oh. What about combat? That just came out, didn't it? Which one? Combat. You got the two tanks, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't have any tank games at the moment. No. 
Uh, what about what's that one? The one with the fucking alien. You know the alien? Oh uh, man. I'm not. I'm not sure what she. Which e. E. T. You got E. T. That that horrible fucking game. E. T. No, 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 we don't. Got any like racing games? Uh, we have Mario Kart uh, and uh, Pole Position. Do you have that one where you're like a janitor and you're driving really fast on the expressway to make it to a show? No, we don't. We don't have that one. Yeah, I think it's called Dwight Racer. Yeah. Hello. I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, I said we Hello. we don't have that one. You got ski ball? We do not. How about how about Judgment Day? You got that? No. The sir. Terminator. Hmm. You know which one I'm talking about when they've got the guns and you shoot at the Terminators when they come on the screen? Uh, yeah, I, I, know the, I know the game. Girls. I believe the owner has one. It's just not in the arcade at the moment. Oh, he's got it in his mother's basement or something? Like, what's going he has, on? He has, a, he has a warehouse. Oh. Is he a nerd? Yep. <laughs> Card carrying nerd? I would assume so, yeah. Hmm. Got picked on in school and everything? I, I don't know about that. You know, bullies bullies serve a purpose, you know, they 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 gotta they gotta pick on the, the, the little video game nerds and computer nerds and Well, I mean, I definitely recommend come in, check us out. We don't, I mean, I don't have any, uh, like, golf or anything like that, but come check us out any anytime. Oh, the phone, the phone is dying. Uh-oh. I think my, is that your phone? No, my phone is fully charged. Do they call you Ready Teddy? Not really. What's that? I know you said you're fully charged. Do they call you Ready Teddy? No, I, I said the phone is fully charged. Oh. Because I've heard around town like you're you're quite the the ladies' man. Yeah, no, not not quite, but. Hey, it's it's been great okay. talking to you. Come come check us out. Uh, I do have other customers I need to get to though. Are you two doing a prank call? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry? I don't know. Huh? What is that? Huh? Is that over there? That would be someone on your side, but I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go. Huh? You have yourself a great night. Hey, you huh? still got that houseboat? Doctor Pussy. Is this another hotel? Oxford Inn. Hello. Hello. This is Hi, I'm in my. I'm in my. Hi, I'm in my room, and I was just wondering whether there's like a a limit to the number of times I'm allowed to use the toilet. Like I didn't. I forgot to ask. What room are you in? Two fifteen. What room? To fifteen. So What's what I'm worried time? about is if I'm like crap Johnson S. What? But yeah, like I'm I'm kind of worried that's if a, that, like am that, I that, crapping? That, you're, you're not you're, you're you're not at the problem. Uh, 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 listen, I yes. <laughs> Oxford in. Hi um. Hello. 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 So me and my friends will be uh will be attending very soon. 
uh, we are going to have the party. Um, how many uh, number of people is the max for each of the rooms? So, if yeah. you try to talk, like, I couldn't hear Thanks you. Thanks for calling, Wizard. Can I help you? Yeah, hi, listen, we're out here. Uh, we were wondering if we were supposed to be using the toilet that someone dragged out of the room or not. Because uh, my son has been using it. And uh, I thought it was strange that it was out here. And I asked around and someone said, oh yeah, yeah, a guy, he was in his room earlier, he got in trouble, he pulled everything out. I, I don't know. Is that right? Sorry? Is that what happened? Like, you, you guys, like, evicted a guy? He, he took all the stuff out of the room and dragged it out here? No, sir. Okay, well, my kid's using the toilet out here. Hey, Dad, it won't flush. I know, that's why I'm calling the man, because I, I noticed there's no pipes. Do you have a hose? Oh, okay. Uh, no, we're gonna, no. We're going to have to hose this off. It's all over. He had diarrhea. Uh, room number, sir? The What's your room number? It won't go down. Oh, we're not staying with you. I ha I found you. I looked up your number because I thought it was really weird. There was a toilet out here. My son, he had to go. He couldn't make it to your oh, lobby okay. or anywhere. All right. Yeah, yeah be close right now, at, sir. But it happened at Home Depot, too. We were looking at the toilets in the Home Depot, and it had to go real bad. So I just went in one of the ones on display. It's just kind of like that, or it doesn't flush. Wait sure. a minute, guys. This is a, this is a composting toilet. Just put some paper all over top of it and just leave it. It's fine. It'll just break down. But there's poopies in the parking lot. They're like leaking out from under the toilet. I don't think that's right. Just let it rot. Just cover it up and you let it ride. Tanjay? Hello? Such a low temperature. What are six? How can I help you? Oh, hi. I'm staying here with my bop. And he, he and I were going to be here uh, for the Gandu uh, memorial service. Hello? Hello? My Pera, bop papu, is here. Bendy. Here's my bop. You can talk to my bop. Hello? Hello? The fake shit? Or this not call may be recorded for quality and training up. purposes. Fake shit. Thank you for calling the Grand Sierra Resort. How may I assist you? Oh. Uh, the cheeks and show me what you got between. Here's my hemorrhoids. Of course. Could you tell me a little bit more about why <laughs> you're calling so I can get you over to the best person? Bleeding I'm calling because enough. your mother gave birth to you from her ass. You are an ass baby. Which department shall I put you through to? The ass department. The ass de Yeah, the ass department, you fucking idiot. Ass baby. <laughs> Ass baby Jesus. department. Security? The ass baby. I'll put you through yeah, to the front desk ass baby. now. Just ass a baby moment, security. please. security. We need them all. Thank you. Clown oh. sec. <laughs> Watch. The person's going to answer ass baby department. <laughs> it is Kalena's ass baby. <laughs> Sir, yes, this is Lisa. How can we assist you tonight? This is Lisa. How can I assist you tonight? Front desk, this is Lisa. How can we assist you tonight? Front desk, this is Lisa. How can I assist you tonight? Front desk, this is Lisa. Front desk, this is Lisa. How can I help you tonight? Yeah, hi, Lisa. Hey, I need to get a room for my family. Uh, they're all mimicking you because they all have uh, this disorder. I'm sorry. It's really hard to take them anywhere because everyone thinks they're being you know, messed with. It's really hard to take them anywhere. Catch it. Well, I do apologize. Unfortunately, we are sold out tonight, so we're not able to rent out any room. tonight, so we're not able to rent out any room. I do apologize. I do apologize. We're full tonight. 
<laughs> well, thank you for calling GSR. Have a great well, night. Thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you for calling the Element well, Reno Experience District, where modern oh, design great. flows through nature. Please stay on the line while your call is transferred to the operator. That's some fucking word salad there, you buddy. Guest reception. Please. Can I put you on a brief hold? Life finish helping a guest. No, you may not. All right, it and I'll be right on back. Who the guest is. No. Okay. No. No. Uh, no. Okay. I don't. Who's uh, the Who's the guest? Um, who's I'm the put, guest? I'm gonna put you guys on a brief hold, and I'll be right with you guys. No. No. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh. The coin is yeah. the Nugget Casino. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I bombed this machine in your, in your floor here. Hello, can you hear Buongiorno. me? Buongiorno. Come sta? Hello. That machine is Hello. going crazy. I bump, I bump into your machine and it's spraying coins everywhere. I was not playing or nothing. You hear I'll hang out till he gets here. Oh. Thank you for Hello? Hi. Um, I don't, I don't know how to deal. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this, but I flushed. I'm on the third floor. I flushed the toilet, and my downstairs, the person staying downstairs, said that like it came straight through their ceiling, like turds and all. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, well. Uh, well, we won't be able to bat, uh, do anything about it tonight. Um, currently, my maintenance man is not here. Um, if anything, uh, as soon as my maintenance man is here... But they've got here, turds on their floor. Uh, so, sir? Um, I, can't, I can't sleep in this hotel. There's turds all over my floor. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't know the toilet was broken. Oh, my gosh. There's poop coming in through the ceiling, squishing all over the floor, all the toilet water just splashing up on the bed. Comforter's wet. And it... <laughs> That's the thing, and I was just imagining, like, <laughs> like how much of a squish. It's raining. And hey, you know the, the extension idea. of the person you're trying to reach? You made that. You are being transferred like a to the operating into our room, but I, they smell really bad. This is from Post Tricky Tunnel. <laughs> hi, yeah, hi. Uh, we woke, we, well, we were, we were in a drunken stupor earlier. We passed out. We woke up. Um, someone dumped what looks to be like Lincoln Logs all over the floor in here. But I, I, I was taking a look at one, and I, it, it's squishy. I don't think these are Lincoln Logs. Do you know what they are? No. Do you know who dumped them in here? Lincoln Logs? Yeah, Lincoln Logs. What are those? Oh, they're like a child's toy. You build buildings out of them. They're little pieces of wood. They, um, they're they long and brown. Oh, and they're in your room? Well, that's what I thought they were, but they're squishy to the touch. And I don't think that's I don't think that's Lincoln Logs. But I don't have a sense of smell, and I'm I'm concerned like this might not be what I think it is. Are you in the room? It kind of looks like wood. Are yeah, you in room? yeah, yeah. Um, what's your room number? Oh, I don't know, cause I was drunk when I got in here. <clears throat> Some Are you of these downstairs or upstairs? Have... Oh, I don't. How do I know? How do I find out? Can I, is there, are, do I look out the window? I'm kind of scared. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm a little unsteady on my feet still. Because I, I got are you in the room with floors here. Yeah. Okay, are they sober enough to check? Uh, I don't, they're not awake. Uh, they're sleeping. Uh, oh. Uh, well, he could, he could probably talk. Why? Yeah, here. Yeah, why? Talk to okay, him. Talk um. To about it. Just look at the window. There, the window has glass on it. You'll be okay. Okay, so I don't know what's happening. I just woke up, and he's sitting here in the middle of the room playing with turds. What, what's going on? 
He's sitting in the room, what? Looks like he's playing with turds. Little brown pieces of shit or something, I don't know. Oh, why is it so squishy? Um, I don't know, I have not... We haven't been in the room at all. But there's, there's a pile of turds and he's like picking through them. I, I, that's all I know. He's, I woke what up room number are you in? You and oh, it tastes like chocolate. 215? Two fifteen? Yeah. Potato. What's your last name? But why is there corn in this? Why is there corn? I, oh, hold on a second. Why? Why are you? Those are not Lincoln logs. Yeah, but they taste like I chocolate. So there's corn in them. Did you do this? Oh my God. What was in that shit you smoked? Look. Man, we're going to need someone to come in the room and clean up all this. Um, we cannot go in there when you guys are not sober. We can have housekeeping pass oh, by. Oh, we won't do anything. Okay, but... Yeah, just make sure to leave your sign it out by 8 really in the morning. It smells really bad in here. It smells like a bunch of horses and pigs took a shit in the middle of the room and smeared it all over the place. I am um, so sorry. Um, are you sure it wasn't him who did it? It might be. I mean, I don't see any horses and pigs around. Yeah. I don't, I mean, you got to, I don't know, like a big, maybe like a big squeegee. Squeegee, we could push it out the door. Yeah, we do not. Um, I will just have housekeeping go in there tomorrow morning. Just make sure you leave your sign out in, by the door. Yeah, make make sure she puts like a dryer sheet in her mask because it smells something awful in here. Okay. And then it was room. I don't know how I'm gonna fall asleep. My eyes are burning. Hey. Hello. Yeah, two fifteen. What's your room number? And first and last name. What do you... He's, he's smearing it all over again. Smearing it? Yeah, now he's painting. He's painting something on the wall. Look at he's this. painting on the wall? I painted a picture of your mother. Remember her? Hey, I'm not the jerk-off who's painting shit on the wall. Okay, if you could please stop him, because you will be fine if there's a mess in the room. I mean, if it's dry by the morning, it might become a protected piece of art or something. Son, were you building a Lincoln Log? Sir, that is not okay. Is that what happened? You cannot be smearing that stuff on the wall. It is okay in my country. I think this is poo what, you think? This room is Hi, like heavy and a motif and it's all the same brown color. Reno, Nevada. Please hold for assistance. <laughs> it's Coco. Thank you for calling Sinesta Sweets, Christy. Hi, Christy. Can I help you? Does anyone ever call you Krusty? Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I got this crusty-ass toenail. Can you help me come clip it? Those are fucking good. To my place. Hi, yeah, I got a Werther's original uh, stuck under my, my shoe here. I was walking all through uh, the hallways, and I'm stuck. 
My foot's now and stuck in a safety hole of some sort. I'm what floor? Oh, uh, the first floor. I'm just right out here by the bathroom. I'm just stuck. I can't get my foot. It, it's stuck. It's like a Werther's original or something stuck to the bottom of it. It's, it's just stuck. It's sticky. I guess there was a, a fat grandma or something. She dropped her bag or uh, goodies or something. I stepped it at all. I stuck. don't see you. Maybe on the second floor, because, uh, like, the first floor is, like, where I walked in, right? Or is uh-huh. that the second floor? Oh. Wait. That's the first... Wait, is that the second floor? That You're on the fir- second, right? Wait, you're stuck somewhere? I'm stuck on the floor. Here, I got my foot stuck on the safety hole here. I don't know what that means. Well, it's a hole. Uh, it looks like it was kicked. Like there's, there's like a hole in the wall. I was trying to get my my foot, like the the candy off my foot. I was scraping on the on the side here. I can't. I, I it kind of, there's you know it made a hole. It kind of got stuck. So you made a hole in the wall. Well, it it, it looked like it was there. It was, like, it was there. It was like it was all crushed in. Like someone did it before. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. What room are you in? Oh, I'm not staying here. I'm just... I, I got the number. I just wanted you to know, like, I'm stuck in the safety hole here. It's starting to... starting to swell up pretty good here. Um, I don't know what safety hole you're talking about. Oh, it's the one right... Uh, so it's like a hole. It looks... You know, it's a big... Well, it's by the door. Um, but I was walking by the stairs. So you know where the the red thing is that you pull to make the sprinkler First go? floor, second that. floor. What's oh, the second, I guess, because I thought it was on the first, but if you're I'm on the, on the first, second then floor I'm now, the... oh, and but, you don't hear me? But I'm on the floor where I uh, came in. So you're on the first floor? Well, I'm not sure because I I went up the stairs, and that's where the room was, but I, I, I got turned around because I... With the, on the know, right the candy stairs, on my foot left and, stairs. Do you not hear um, me talking? No. We can't hear you. We're not listening to you. I lost my worthers. <sighs> Good evening, Holiday Inn. Uh, 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 Hello? Uh, uh, Hello, how are you? How many? They all speak English. Holiday Inn, can I help you? Can we get a room? Um, we're booked tonight. I'm real booked tonight. I'm sorry, what? What? Uh, we're booked tonight. Thank you for calling. Have a good uh, We're booked tonight. Thank you for calling. Have a good tonight. day. Thank you for calling. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> Your fingers need to be... Thanks. Hello? Hello? Pocatello. This is Justin. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. My my fingers are fatigued. I'm sorry. That seems yeah, sure. very unfortunate. Well, of course. Yeah. I was playing pinball. I was playing FX. Uh, pinball FX3, and I was on the I was on this table, and I was trying to beat my boyfriend's high score, and now my fingers are fatigued, so I paused it. Do you consider that cheating or no? That you paused the game? No, I do that all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, because my because well because my fingers became fatigued. I I feel like I'm like it's the contra cheat code thing type thing going on over here. Yeah, no, take a break, my man. Fi- yeah, my fingernails take are break, sprained. Have a beer. Yeah. Take a break, have a beer, get a little rest. Uh, yeah, I, I, well, I, I want to come back to it, but I'm probably going to have a semen latte as well. No, that's that's going to be awesome for you. Fresh from the tap. 
Oh, all right, even better. So, 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 what do your pants do? Uh, right now they're just being on my body. All right, and so when do we start unzipping with my teeth? Not anytime soon. Why not? You just start work? Shifts just start? What happened? Nope. My shift did not just start. All right. That's what I like to hear. So we're, we're getting we're getting ready to get off. All right. Nope. What do you mean, no? Nope. Not Come that on, either. man. Come on, Sorry. man. Come Sorry. on. Come on. All right. Come on, my face. That's not going to happen. <laughs> That's uh-huh. not going to happen either. Why not? Anything else I can help you with this evening? Come on. I got my Dwight Jenna. It's spread right now. Come on. I don't I don't know what to tell you about that. Oh. Why not? Why? What happened? I'm, Why? I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. I, I don't I don't got time for that. Why not? Is your house on fire? What's the matter? I'm at work. You know, my yeah, job. But, but you know, you, you oh. know about boy pussy, though, right? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know about it. Yeah. Any? Is, is there anything that I can actually do for you, other than you. just be on the yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah. Hey, come come, come up to so. come up, come up, Yeah, come up to two fifteen and just jiggle my handle. No, nope, that's that's not going to happen. Why not? Why? Come on. Because I'm because I'm busy. Is there anything else I can Come help on. you with? Don't don't be a tease. That's, Come on. I I I'm sir. Like no is no. You you, you get but that you're being concept, a tease right? by telling you're you're being a tease by telling me no. I'm I'm not being anything by telling you no other than I'm telling you no. Oh. Come on! I didn't put my pasties on for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you'll have to pop on the grinder app and see what see what you can wrangle up here in Pocatello. I was I was banned I was banned off of grinder for that thing. I did a thing. I did a thing on grinder. I I'm can't go on grinder anymore. I'm I'm shocked to hear that. I'm I'm surprised you, you might be shocked. I got jumper I got jumper cables and I got a battery and I can put them on your nipples. Yeah, de- definitely not interested yeah. in that. Sorry. Why not? Come on. Come on, man. I'm I'm working. Anything else I can help you with? Otherwise, I got people. Yeah, waiting. yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, I want to show you my piss pump. <clears throat> nope, all good. Have a good night, sir. Come on, man. Thank you. Thank you for calling the Fairfield by Marriott in Pocatello. This is Katie. How can I help you? Hi, there's this guy here named Nate, and. He's like jiggling my handle and he came in my room and he said that he's here to provide the secret service. What room are you in? Give me this phone. Give me the hello, ma'am. He he walked past me in the hallway. He he like he didn't even say excuse me, he just walked past me in the hallway. So it was within within my rights to jiggle his handle, come into his room and pee in his toilet to assert my dominance. I'm just putting that out there. Sir, is this an actual emergency, or are you, you gotta pranking me? you got to flush the toilet, man. At least flush it, man. No, no, I'm not going to flush it. It's a waste of water. Come is this on, an, man. Are you prank you calling me, or is this an actual emergency? Maybe, maybe because if it's a, not no, an actual I peed. emergency, I peed. hang up the phone. I peed in his toilet. You hang up the phone. I'll pee in your toilet. Oh, fuck off. Hampton, Sweet Solano, how can I help you? Hey, um, this German guy keeps feeding me tacos, and I want him to stop. Oh. You will eat more. You will eat more. No, no more. Open your pretty little mouth and eat the tacos. No. Uh, 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 uh. We will fatten you up. Yes. <coughs> Good. Uh, uh. You may drink now. Okay. One uh, sip. Okay, hold on. Let me get him the drink. 
Speed demands the tacos, make him big and fat and strong. Put him in my dungeon and make him wear a song. Now you eat your tacos. No more. Thank you for calling Best Western Plus here in Luna. How can I help you today? Um, I'm right here in the room and... Hold on, I got the other phones going at the same time. Oh, come on, man. This is... Come on. All right. Yes, sir. Um, I am in my room with the, my partner and he spilled a lot of fucking shit on the floor. I need another towel to clean it. All right. What room are you in? And I can't believe you. Do you know what you did? No. Are you sorry? Okay, you're going to fucking do that stupid shit again? <laughs> fucking don't do that again, man. <laughs> fucking be doing this stupid shit. <laughs> now I have to... Can you bring a towel to the room? Please, it's a fucking idiot right here. Idiot son of a bitch. Right, what room you no, know, listen. What room you in? What room are you in? 215. 215? All right, bring it down one minute. Yes. I got the phone ringing every which way. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Um. How can I help you? Friends are eating some tacos. Do you want some? He just ate my taco that I made him. You want some, sir? Sorry, what is your problem? You are my problem. You. Mm. You are the problem. What? What? You need some work? Yes, because you are my problem, sir. Leave a message after the tone. Oh. Hi, yeah, I was there uh, yesterday. I lost something. Uh, I need you to give me a call back as soon as possible. Uh, that'd be great. I, I need to get my item back. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Call the injection. Hey, Turbo. Every day. Mm-hmm. My Hello? friend Turbo here has something to say to you. Yeah, um... I don't like the sink, sir. You need to fix it. Ugh. The hands are all slimy after using it. What the hell's wrong with your sink? Fix it. Right now. How dare you do that to his I'm sink? I'm waiting. Yeah, what did you even do to this thing? <laughs> Why would he hang up? We gotta go back to four years ago and just make calls till like eight in the morning. How can I help you? Best Mr. Jackson. Let me help you. Hello, I'm in the hallway. Talking to the man here. I've been knocking on the doors. Galloween, how can I help you? Hello? Yes. Can I say it? Yeah. Can I say yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I hear you. You hear me? Yes, sir. I just want to say, I just want to say, I love you, my brother. I love you so much. Okay. I want to kiss your lips and I want to feel your mustache on my thighs. Be serious. This? Please, can I kiss your big fat? Uh, my is name this? is Hector Ramirez, and I just want to kiss you so hard on your face. He's so Sorry, horny. Sir. No, I cannot kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for choosing love. How can I help you? 
Hi, this is a guy right here. He hopped in my truck. Okay. He had a beautiful cock. And he keeps... What to say, Amor. I got an idea. Thank you for calling Love Sebastian. How can I help you? Hi, you got a hose there? A hose? Yeah, well, I was hoping there was maybe one or two. Like for what, water? Uh, well, yeah, it could be used for that, yeah, yeah. Like, do we sell hoses? Well, no, I, I, I don't think, I don't think that's, I don't think you can do that, honestly. What, what kind of hose do you need? Uh, a clean one, mainly, um, you know, no disease, we don't want any diseases. Diseases, what are you talking about? A hose. A hose for what? Well, no, no, no. We don't want any diseased hose. I don't understand what you want. A hose. Uh, like one or two. Maybe one hose, two hose, three hose. Exxon Harper Road. Hi, you have a hose down there? A hose? Yeah, like one or two hose, uh, one that's clean, maybe one that's got like, I don't know, like, uh, maybe some cigarette burns or something. Uh, I don't think we carry those. Oh. Uh, you got, uh, got a wife, maybe? Calling Haber to Hello, my brother hey. needs to speak. Yeah, my brother's. I'm gonna put my brother on. He needs to speak for me. Go ahead, brother. Oh. Oh. Take it easy. Take it easy. You got oh. <laughs> toilet paper. Toilet paper is coming out my ass. What? The right, right there. Hello. Did you say the rap- you say the rapper's dead. Which rapper? <laughs> a right front desk. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? Okay, how can I help you? Do you know the thing? Like the whole Do I thing. Know what? The thing. You know the thing. No. Okay, I think good. You have good, the wrong good. number. You ain't, you ain't, no, 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 good, good. You ain't no snitch. All right, cool. You passed. So <laughs> listen, I can count on you then, right? Mm. <laughs> How can I help? Come on, just say yes. It, the the pay is more lucrative than this bullshit fucking job that's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, listen, we're just gonna go out okay. in the streets together, and and, and listen, I'm just, we're just gonna suck some dick, okay? Like that's all, no. That's all I'm saying is, one go out. How did you handle that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that too. But listen, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Okay. Let's not let's not let's not fuck around. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. We're gonna make we're gonna make we're gonna make that money, baby. Listen, I'm gonna find you attractive, Johns. Okay, like. Hello, Peabody friend. That's how I'm going help you. Hi. Hello. We're ready to go back in time and discover who killed Hitler. Get in the time machine. Come on. We need you. Uh, Say that again, sir? Yeah. I, are you, is Mr. Peabody around? Yes, sir. I'm on the Peabody friend desk, sir. Okay, then. Yes, sir. Well, we got to go back in time. Back in the time. Uh, what, say the, uh, what's the question again, sir? I, I don't know. No worries, sir. Boxes or briefs? Good morning, and thank you for calling Gold Strike Casino and Resort. This is your hotel operator. How may I direct your call? Good morning. How can I assist you? Oh, I strike the gold. I am making the monies, apparently. 
I hit this machine with my foot and now it go with many coins. Hey, uh, hey, German guy? Huh? You winning? You winning the stuff? I, yeah, I guess I did not play, but I bump into the machine with my can foot. You, I kick and it go boo and give me lots of coins. Can you come into coins. my room? I watch you on for And how can I help you? To come in your room. Just come into my room. This guy won a lot of money and he's... Front desk. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of this German guy. Is that okay with you? Uh, uh, uh. Hi, yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, Hello. listen, we got a situation brewing here. Uh, have you been sending up moldy, uh, Lincoln Logs to the room? Moldy Lincoln Logs? Yeah, Lincoln Logs. They're like squishy, they're all, they're made of wood, but they're squishy for some reason. They smell horrible. Mm, and chud. What was that? Hello. Hi, you hear that? What was that? No. What was that? Oh. Oh, yeah. You can be abrasive here. What's your... Good evening. Thank you for calling the Miffy and Angel speaking. Am I help you? Hi, Angel. Is this a front desk? It is Hi, front desk. Angel. Just your front desk. It is. Oh, I got a situation brewing here. Yes, uh, my bu- my brother Hector. He made a hockey in the microwave. We don't so have microwave, cool. sir. What room are you in? What? Well, no, no, no. We brought our own microwave, but he made a hockey in it. I fucked the hockey with that thing. Okay, what what room are you in? No, I want to find out, Kim. I come down to the front desk and get some toilet paper and extra roll, please. Hey, we need some pillows, too. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what room you're in? Hell no, we ain't telling you nothing, but you'll see us come down in a bit. I'm just playing on the phone, so the number I got, I can get to the police, right? Okay, 769. Hey, you ain't going to do nothing. Damn problem with the room. You what? I got a goddamn problem in the room. Oh, okay. Well, you need to figure that out with all that cussing. No, you better get. You better get. Speak south. Thank you for calling again, South Lake Graceland. How can I help you? Hey, hello. Thanks for calling Graceland. How can Squirrel. I help? You? Yes, I got a situation in my room here. My brother D White, he he's having a big D White. Tell her what your problem is. Uh, I'm too white. I have a pigment problem. I need sunglasses, boy. You blinded me. Hello. That's what's the phone number you're calling from, sir? What, what do you need to know that information? Why are you are you ignorant? Yeah, just like you made me be. Ten four. That's not security. 
No. Hello. Your, yeah, your security is not that good. Uh, I just did some shit, and you didn't catch me. Excuse me? Yeah, I just did some shit, and you didn't catch me. I'm, I'm telling you, your security is inferior. You did some shit where? Yeah, I, you know the security camera you guys had pointing at everything? Yeah, yeah. I, I went, and I went, and I took a flashlight, and I shined it, and I burned the fucking retina right out of that camera. Fuck that thing. Okay, first of all, security don't have eyes on that camera it's surveillance. Hey, 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 don't say, don't say security like ethnic-wise, okay? Try to enunciate a little better. Come on. Who is this? My name is Do Dwight. I need to get my to the, the, the white? Your name is yep. Dwight. You sound like Biden right now. Why are you stuttering? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? Stop calling you? me. Hello? You stole a dog. Do what? That's like stealing somebody's child. What? Why are you calling me? This is Byron. Hi, Byron. Uh, this is the front desk reaching out in regards to um, a few notes that you shared. Is there a point to this? I don't follow. How should I know? I'm reaching out in regards to a few notes that you shared with the front desk. I just wanted to follow up on that. I don't even know who you are. This is the Durango Residence Inn. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a few notes shared that you were being um You didn't tell me why you were questioned. Concerned. I'm concerned about your safety. Yeah, yeah. Why are you concerned? I'm following up from the claim that you placed with the front desk. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? I'm concerned because I walked out there and I didn't see anyone. Why are you concerned? I'm concerned about your safety. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Uh, because of the information that you shared? I don't want you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. Okay, all righty. Thank you so much. Bye for now. I said, why are you concerned? All right. Milkman, take us out of here. All right. All right, here we go. All right, kids, all my kids, friends, and family gathered in one spot, a fun place to be. They call it our Madhouse Militia Family. We're on a journey together every week. Together, we can overcome all adversity, pain, and fear, and anger in our world. And you know, we're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. So we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. We're learning that our differences are trivial and that we all are really more alike than different and that we're healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter. The idea that Carlito and I hatched and spawned upon the world, my great Generalissimo, the leader up in heaven, still to this day broadcasting to the world the power of laughter and the magic of fun found right here in the Madhouse Militia every week. Show Friday night at 10 p.m. right here in your balls. A mother ship does land and pick up passengers. All you crazy horse machines in the Madhouse Militia. We're saving the world one laughter at a time. Yeah, we drop the dimes. We'll ask that you give us the time and bring a friend, or better yet, bring an enemy. Because you know what? They're all welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia. And by the way, the White Machine, are we doing a show tomorrow? Any? Okay. Anyway. I just want everyone stop. to know that Milkman was a diversity hire. We needed an elder on the uh, payroll. Milkman for president. 
Yeah, but if he's gonna be a, if he's gonna be a candidate right now, we gotta we gotta like pierce his nose with a bullet or something to catch up to Trump. <laughs> the chicken bone in my nuts. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. So you see the family all together here. And if you'd like some more entertainment, some more madhouse fun, stop in tomorrow. Dwight Court. There'll be a show going on of some form or another. If D. White wants to make a presentation, you can find him There'll right be some there. debauchery going. Something will be going on. There you heard it from the man himself. The horse machine speaks for it. And afterwards, do not miss out. Cat Machine with her big screen will provide entertainment for the following hours of the night. And if you're really excited about the big screen, get involved and stop by early and take a vote while the polls are still open. Lots of fun to be had with the Madhouse family. Don't you dare miss it. Night, tomorrow night, it's still going on. I couldn't do without all of you, my dear militia, madhouse family. You keeping me alive. And my big brother Axel, he's supporting the weight, keeping the wheels turning and the fun to be had. Thank you so much, brother Axel. Couldn't do it without you. And our Dear brother, Wasted Machine, every week providing a stage for us, form a pawn. He's the backbone right here of our Madhouse Militia family. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody. And God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. The milkman is heading back out to stay. Thank you, Milkman, for uh, taking us. Grind a truck stop, low down sprawl. Grease stains, lit of the walls. Gas pumps on the tire spin slow. Box in the sling and the truth don't know. Fast machine beams, dead and star. Crackles on paper in the dark. Employees tasked with delivering paint. Hot rake runs on diesel's chain. She